you know, this would be the money market with interest rate here. This is the money supply. And we already saw this money market model will be very nice for the exam if you could tell me some things about it. And we know that when the money supply is increased, <coughs> who can do that? The central bank. Okay, so in our uh, textbook is the Fed the main player, but we don't live in US, so we say central bank. The central bank can increase the money supply. Okay, good. So now suppose the money supply will increase. This will make what the interest rate? Will make it lower, which will have a strong impact on what? Investments. I like more the Victor opinion. So this will go into investment function, which is like this. Here is interest rate. Okay. And now we see that the interest rate is lower, which makes investment higher. Why? Because what? it is easier to take money. It's cheaper to take money. Yeah. It's cheaper to get a loan. For example, Apple has, you know the company Apple, they, they make some very nice devices. And they have right now retained profits. You know what retained profits are. They made a lot of money in the past and they were not giving dividends for the full amount. They, they retained a lot of profits and they have like billions. I don't know. It's their money. Will this interest rate affect their decision somehow beyond what Victor said that now they will not be incentivized to keep the money in the banks. Is it related to the future value of money? If you have a lower interest rate, okay. you compute and you... What do, I, what do I compute? That's present value or future value? The future value. The present value. The present value. The present value. So in my formula, which was like this, present value equals future value divided by one plus some discounting factor. I will not write directly here the interest rate, even if the interest rate maybe plays a key role for this discounting factor. But this is a discounting factor to the power of n. Right. And now if the interest rate is lower, the discounting factor will be also lower, which will make the present value higher, which will make my project more or less attractive more attractive, of course. It will make it more attractive, which will support the idea from here, when interest rate is lower, investment should be higher. Very good. And this will now go into my aggregate demand, aggregate supply model, where I have here inflation, I have here output. Okay, aggregate demand, short run aggregate supply, and long run aggregate supply. What will change here based on what the central bank did here? So you, you see the, the, the chain is like a chain reaction. It's like a domino game. The chain started here when the central bank, which is quite uh, an institution with a lot of power, which has a powerful leader usually in most countries. So here the decisions are in the hands of few people. Sometimes a lot of uh, observers, they say decisions are in the hand of only one person, the chairman of the central bank. But okay, this could be relative. I, I mean, this person usually maybe has some discussions with uh, the colleagues. But a few people make big decisions here. And they decide to increase money supply, interest rate is lower, investment should be higher. This will change what here? Very good. We'll shift the aggregate demand to the right. This will make output higher and inflation higher. Now, it's a very big difference which is related to my starting point. For example, if the starting point was here at the natural output, so let's suppose the economy was here and the central bank made the movement. Was it a good choice? No, it was not a good choice. Why? Because we pushed the economy in an inflationary gap. This is called the gap, which is overheating the economy, which will make a high risk of what? You know, when a small bird is flying too high, 
it's a risk of hard landing, hard landing, which is very painful because you, you know you, you just take the economy to a level which is not sustainable. It's like I will invite you for one week to the Sheraton, full service, and then I will tell you something like, come on, you deserve it. This is the life you deserve. You, come on, stay with us. Party all day long, party all night long. And then suddenly, in one day, I just decide, come on, get out, disappear. This will be a big, big I don't know, disappointment for you. Because maybe in this period of time, you start to believe that you deserve to be here. Yeah, for, for people, it's not very hard to convince them that they deserve more. It's not hard to do that. Come on, you should have a bigger car, you should have a bigger house, a bigger TV, a nicer vacation. You deserve that, right? It's normal. You should have it. And then when the economy is adjusting back, the short-run aggregate supply might shift to the left. This will make, I don't know, unemployment very high. This will make people lose the mortgages, the houses. This will be sad, very, very sad. OK. Now, however, if the economy was here, OK, so this is the long run aggregate supply. This is the short run aggregate supply. And this is the aggregate demand. So now let's suppose <coughs> The leader of the central bank, the chairman of the central bank, is seeing the economy like this. In his opinion, the economy is here, which means is where? In a, how do we call it? Recession. It's a recessionary gap. We, we are below our potential. Yeah. This is the natural output, and we are here. And if under this scenario, he will increase the money supply, he will support the investment, and this will do what here? It will bring it on back. Where it will bring the aggregate demand here. Now, everything is OK. I have a higher inflation, but I help the economy to return to the long run sustainable level of output. And this is nice. So, as you can see, the monetary policy is a very powerful tool to change things in the economy and should be used like this only if we knew exactly where we are. Yeah. Because it's really not easy to know whether you are here or you are here. This is a big problem. And it's not the only one. We, we're going to see. <laughs>